Mr. Speaker, sir, the past 20 years have witnessed a juridical revolution. It's been carried out stealthily in plush conference venues out from under the private eye, but it's a revolution. It has shifted power permanently and substantively away from elected national representatives to a global corpus of lawyers and human rights activists. The tried and clearly understood precept that we've had since the Treaty of Westphalia, the idea that every state is responsible for its domestic affairs and that crimes are the, territory, uh, are the responsibility of the state on whose territory they were committed, has been cast aside, not only for cross-border issues, but for domestic questions, the gender equality, the rights of minorities, labor laws, and so on. Now, you might say, well, how else are we going to bring to trial the, the Bashirs and the Milosevic's and the Gaddafi's and so on? But here you run up against the brute reality. Dictators ignore these conventions. They are applied only by liberal democracies. And thus, having spent 300 years in Europe clawing our slow and grueling way towards the principle that laws ought to be made only by the people's elected representatives, now, in a fit of absent-mindedness, we're discarding it.